Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to some League of Legends. My name is Dan Duhai. I'm the head esports coach and program director over at Edgewood College. And tonight we have your Edgewood College Eagles taking on the Land Sharks of Ole Miss University. That is correct. The D1 school taking on us little D3 school. Going to be a fun matchup tonight. And we are already into our picks and bans. On the left side is going to be Edgewood's. We are on the blue side. On the right side, it's Ole Miss. So far, we have banned out the Renata. Waiting for the ban on the side of red. They're taking out the Fiddlesticks. Appreciate everyone for being here. This is our first League of Legends stream. We're very, very excited to be doing this one. This is our NACE regular season. Our first match of our regular season. So, going to be a ton of fun. We're getting into it. Waiting on the next ban from the blue side. Our side, the Eagles are going to go ahead and ban Udyr. Udyr, a very, very overpowered champion currently. Did his Udyr was reworked current or uh, uh, recently, so he could be played top or uh, in the jungle. Next over to Ole Miss, their next ban will be. We will see. Each team gets 30 seconds. Next ban is going to be that Nautilus. The final ban of round one for the Eagles is going to be Lee Sin. And the final ban of round one for Ole Miss is going to be Irelia. So now we have some picks. So the Eagles get their first choice on the blue side. Let's see what they go ahead and pick here. We're gonna first pick Kaisa. Ole Miss has two picks now. Get to choose what they want. We're probably gonna see the bot lane, their ADC and their support pick here. Oh, so we see a Maokai, which can be flexed, support or top. second pick probably going to be the ADC the Eagles guessing on where that Maokai is going to be played five seconds for their next pick misfortune Edgewood now choosing. They get to choose two characters, two summoners, two, not summoners, two, uh, two champions. Let's call them champions. Don't like characters. It's not as, not as exciting as champions. 10 seconds here. Talking about what we're going to be playing. Next is going to be Akali. So that Akali can be either flexed mid lane or top lane. And that Amumu as well can be flexed either support or jungle. So we are going to keep the land sharks guessing where these champions are going to be played. Third pick for Old Miss is going to be Mordekaiser. So Mordekaiser top. I'm assuming that Malkai is going to be the support then. We are into the second round of bans now. Old Miss gets their first ban. A lot of flex picks here for the Eagles. That Akali and that Amumu. Can either be Amumu jungle or support. Akali mid or top. That Hecarim ban is coming out. I believe they think that that Amumu is going to be in this uh, support role. For the Eagles, we are going to go ahead and ban out Janna. We're hovering it. Yep, 
There goes that Jana. And Yon is going to be taken out. So the Eagles here get to ban a character and then pick a character. Character. So, uh, champion. That's what I want to say. Not character. Champion. They're going to take out the Soraka. I'm sorry, it's the other way. Old Miss gets to choose their champion. The Eagles then get to choose two, and then Old Miss gets to to round it off with the final champion. So the Land Sharks here, kind of discussing on what they want to do. Looks like they're gonna go ahead and pick up Talia. So I have the assumption that it's Maokai support, MF ADC, Mordekaiser top, Talia mid. They have not shown their jungler yet. That is what I'm guessing. The Eagles here, they do have either their jungle or support, their top or their mid. So really don't know because that Amumu and that Akali have been flexed. Looks like Rel's gonna be picked up. So it is Amumu jungle. Rel Kaisa bot lane. We're going to see if this Akali is going to be mid or top with this pick here. Twelve seconds here. Fiora. So that Akali is going to be mid. That Fiora is going to be up top. And now the final pick here for the Land Sharks is going to be... Unsure. But we'll find out here soon enough. Two seconds here. The Land Sharks are going to go ahead and take J4. Jarvan 4 in the jungle. That is a Maokai support MF... ADC, that's their combo in the bot lane. Mordekaiser is going to be up top. Talia is going to be mid. And J4 is going to be roaming the jungle there for Ole Miss. I'm going to toss that down. I'm going to bring League of Legends back over. And we are into it. So here is just we're going through the banning and the picking phase again. Kind of standard stuff. Basically, we use that uh, that tool that we just saw because not everybody owns every single champion, so it puts everybody on the same playing field, so we don't have to worry about, you know, this character, or this, this person doesn't own all these different champions, so we can not worry about that kind of thing, so. But yeah, we are into it. Hey, uh, D desire, Des D desire me? Is that how you say it? I'm not 100% sure, but thank you for the follow. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. As you wish going through the rest of these picks and these bands. There's that Yon. And then I believe it was... I don't, I don't... I forget who it was. Who was it? I forgot who that last pick was. The last band. Soraka. That is correct. So the Eagles and Land Sharks rounding off their choices here. in that Maokai. 
So the players get a minute to choose their loadouts, and then we are going to have a spectator delay. So about three minutes, two and a half minutes, we're going to be behind, but that's all right. So it does not cause any cheating. I won't say who to not embarrass him, but I'm someone's mom. Oh, please. Okay, come on now. You have to say no. I'm just so curious. I want to give a shout out. If you don't want to say that's totally okay, we appreciate you being here. Love the support. I do want to give a big shout out to Dylan. Dylan is currently one of our subs. He's not playing this game, but Dylan, it is his birthday. Happy 18th birthday to Dylan. So it is going to show that the countdown is done, but it is going to send us into a spectator countdown. Let him tell you. Okay. I will I'll I'll go to go to the players, see who whose mom is watching. But anyway, I really do appreciate that you're here. So we do have a spectator delay. So in this time, I'll kind of tell you a little bit about the school. So Edgewood College, located in Madison, Wisconsin. Beautiful Madison, even though today was kind of crummy. A little rainy day out. But we are finally in fall weather. I think, to, I, I don't know, but next week it was looking like I saw I saw some mid to high 40s. Now that I'm terrified of. But uh, Edgewood College, first year as a varsity program. We're housed under athletics. We support... Rocket League, League of Legends, Overwatch, Fortnite, and Valorant. So our five games, we have about 25 players in the program. All of them range from freshman to, to second semester. Second second semester? No. Yeah, second semester seniors, even though they're in their, you know, this is the first semester, but they're finishing up their senior year this year. This team, tell you a little bit about, Abu is in our top lane. That is our Fiora player. Abu is a sophomore. Destin, that is our Mumu player. He's our jungler. He is a senior as well as the captain of the team. IGYBG, that is Zeke. Playing that Akali. Zeke is a freshman. Kaisa, the ADC, that is Jason. Jason is a freshman. And that Rel player, that is Ben. Ben is a senior. Got a minute 20 here. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to toss it into one of our screens so you can look at that. And we will be back soon here with the start of Edgewood College versus Old Miss University. So we are loading into the rift here. I'm gonna be pulling up some stuff for you all. Do this, I want to do objectives. Get that one down. I want to get the time controls down. Put the scoreboard up. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. That's what I wanted, there we go. 
That's everything we needed to see. Players here just doing a five point, making sure nobody's invading. Getting into this one here very, very shortly. Here we go. Amumu is going to be starting the top side over by the blue. J4 is going to be starting their blue, so they're going to be going opposite directions of each other. So just if people do not understand League of Legends, that's totally fine. I do want to get some sound in here. I believe that I want some music sound. Not let it be boring the entire time. So if people do not understand what League of Legends is. So League of Legends is a 5v5 game where basically the main objective is to destroy the other person's base. Okay? So each person has a nexus. Each team has a nexus. They have towers defending that nexus. So they're tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4 towers. Everywhere on the game itself, there are lanes. So as we're looking at right now, this is top lane. This is bot lane. Okay, you can kind of see the camera in the bottom right kind of showing you where everything is. So then there are junglers. The junglers basically go inside of those lanes, all around those lanes, and collect objectives. These objectives basically level them up, give them gold. It's the same thing with all of the lanes. You get gold, you make sure that you can buy items, those items give you power spikes. So it looks like right here we have a little tussle going on in the bot lane. A lot of flashes, a lot of heals going out. So already some skirmishing, which you'll love to see. If anybody has any questions at all during the stream, please ask. I always love kind of giving more information. If you don't understand, nobody's looking at you like you've got like four eyes. It's more so I just want to help out and make sure that you understand what you're watching. All different characters have all different abilities, so you're going to see a lot of different stuff. I have the camera basically placed on uh, director cam which basically lets me know you know if there's fights going on or anything like that that's where it goes to so far top lane you can see a skirmish here in the mid lane Natalia did get leveled up which is unfortunate there Looks like J4 is here hovering mid. Akali flashes away. There's a flash from Natalia. Flash from J4 and First Blood is going to go over to Old Miss University. Fiora needs to be careful here that Mordecai's are giving her a lot of grief. Ooh, Abu doing a lot of good stuff here. And this Mordecai's are pretty weak, but he does have a heal ability. Heal coming out. Ooh, good parry there from. Ooh, good parry there from. Uh, from Abu, but not gonna happen. Destin here does get a kill in the mid lane though. Good job from the jungler to help out on that one. We could see the bot lane here go in. They do have a nice wave built up. Oh, there goes the cannon. I don't think too much of an opportunity to go in. As you can see in mid lane, J4 actually jumped onto this Akali. Not much gonna happen though. So some good damage from everybody. It is two to one on the kill count. Old misses up one. They got that kill top lane as well as in the mid lane. Skirmishing going up in the top lane again. Dragon is up. 
So as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, but Abu is gonna go ahead and go on this Mordekaiser. Lots of damage coming in. He's gonna head him back off, good parry there. Basically makes him invulnerable. Oh, flash from the Mordekaiser. Ultimate from the Mordekaiser. It looks like Abu is gonna get killed here and he does Amumu in a lot of trouble as well. Flashes away. Oh, there's a flash from Maokai. Destin is going to go down. It's a lot of kills in favor of Ole Miss. Looks like there could be a potential dive here in the bot lane. Jarvan 4, you can see in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, is actually taking our camps away from our Amumu. Here comes J4. Good stun there. A lot of damage coming off from both sides. Some flashes have gone out. Good job there from the Eagles bot lane not to get killed underneath their tower. So Destin here on the Amumu, just kind of clearing their the, uh, top camps. Mordekaiser has spotted out Destin. It's chasing into the jungle. Not there anymore though. Zeke here in the mid lane. Looks like this Amumu is looking to dive here into mid lane. Here he comes. Almost had that root. Does have another one though. Good root there. Ignite has been popped as Talia goes down. J4, you might be next. Good ultimate from the Amumu. A lot of damage, and J4 flashes away. Not going to happen, but Akali is going to be awarded the shutdown. That is absolutely massive for the Eagles. Absolutely massive. That is exactly what you wanted to see. I believe that this gives the Eagles the chance to take the dragon here, because J4 is down. No jungler for the land sharks. Dragon has been slain. Bot lane getting a little bit pushed under here. J4 clearing top camp. So if you are J4, you want to go ahead and go after Rift Herald. I believe that the Eagles know about it. Looks like Fiora spotted out Talia trying to roam up into the top lane. Not too much CS difference. The only difference is in the top lane. Mor or, uh, Mordekaiser, just a very annoying champion. So looks like we're going to have some... People coming into the bot lane. The Akali in here. A lot of damage done. Heal has been popped and no luck there on the gank. Rift Herald has been summoned in the mid lane here, so we took the gamble looking for a bot side gank. I think we lose that with the mid turret. The Eagles lose a turret. It's not the end of the world, though. Because Amumu is actually taking the camps of J4. There's another ultimate from Mordekaiser. Fiora trying to just stay alive. She's parrying everything that he throws at her. Good job there from Abu. Just staying alive as much as he possibly can. Looks 
like we have a gank in the top lane from Akali. Akali giving in a lot of good damage. I don't know if it's going to be enough because Mordekaiser are here. Oh, it might be enough. That's a huge shutdown going to the Akali again. Zeke with the massive roam. Here comes Atalia ult. Here she comes. Abu needs to be careful here. Oh, that is a kill there for the Talia. Zeke might be next if he's not careful. He needs to flash away. Is out of harm's way. Did burn a flash, so it's a one for one trade. J4, good ward there from uh, from Abu. Or not Abu, Zeke, I'm sorry. Zeke is out of there. Eagles here just kind of clearing some camps, making sure that they have some priority in some of these lanes. There's a engage here. Oh, never mind, there's no engage. Akali needs to be careful. J4 is hiding in a bush. Akali is getting a lot of massive damage off. But Amumu is pinging that he is coming through. Destin looking to help out in the mid lane. Here he comes, Destin. If the camera's gonna point over to him. Nope, we're not gonna go ahead and do it. Looks like Zeke is actually gonna go ahead and roam down more. Zeke is on this MF. Like flies on expired cheese. Zeke is gonna get a kill. A Amumu with the flash and a nice hook. Another hook from the Amumu. And Destin is going to go ahead and take down that Maokai. Mordekaiser here and the Fiora dueling up in the top lane. Bu doing a good job just staying alive, making sure he gets some good farm. Is behind in CS, but... Not the end of the world. There is an engage there onto the Talia. Good hooks, good ultimates from everybody. Another massive ultimate from the Amumu. There is a lot of kills coming out here for both teams. A lot of damage here. Onto the bot lane. Oh, that is a big heal there. Amumu's gonna go down. It looked like everybody was focusing on different targets. And Ole Miss is going to take out some players. Top lane was taken down in a 1v1 skirmish. We weren't able to see that. And then down here in the bot side. Everybody but Zeke was taken down. There goes the dragon over to Old Miss. Oh, it looks like Akali is going to get a little saucy here onto the Mordekaiser. And Zeke again, another massive kill. He is five and one right now, doing so so well. Here comes an engage from the Eagles over to the MF. There is a flash. J4 is on his way. Oh, that is a big route into a tower shot. Rel here needs to be careful. Big flash out of her. Meanwhile, Amumu is just going to go ahead and try to take this Rift Herald. Needs to be very, very careful, though. There is a Talia. 
Just kind of hanging out. Talia is going to be coming in here. Mordekaiser as well. Lots of damage. Oh, that is a massive ultimate. Oh, Fiora is here as well. And Abu gets a big shutdown. Another shutdown for Zeke. Well done there from the Eagles. So the Eagles take their first lead and they also get objective bounties. So this is something new for League of Legends. Objective bounties are basically different objectives that you can get if your team is considered to be down in the game. So Mumu just helping out Akali pushing this wave. Akali's gonna go ahead and get out of there and spend some gold. Zeke is seven and one. Really well done. Eagles bot lane is getting out of here. Lots of pings letting them know that there is danger around. So this Mordekaiser is going to come down into the bot lane. There are three... Nope, oh, never mind. I was going to say there are three players from Edgewood here to face off against him. But Amumu backed off. Rift Herald is going to be spawned here in the bot lane. Amumu pathing down. You might see an engage here from Rel. But there is actually an engage over by the J4. Amumu and J4 going back and forth. Nothing's going to happen from it, but... I believe that Edgewood is looking at the Mordekaiser here in the bot lane. And here they go. Good damage there, good stun. Mordekaiser is going to ult this Amumu. Has been slain, Amumu not able to get out in time. Akali is rotating down, but there are two more members of Old Miss here. Lots of damage, here comes the Akali. Zeke does have Rel. Not a ton that he can do though, because this team fight is just going in the way of old Miss Talia here alting in onto the Akali. She's gonna go ahead and get out. So it is a one for four. Old Miss has some great team fighting abilities with their champions. Amumu taken out early is a lot of just it's just a lot of bad. It's a lot of bad for the Eagles because Amumu has a lot of stuns. Basically just get onto any target that he wants to and they really want to get onto this MF as quickly as possible because she does a lot of damage. Misfortune is annoying. So we are going to see a fight for the dragon come up. This might be bad. Momo here just hanging out. Oh, this is going to be really bad because Destin gets taken out early in that team fight. Amumu is not up, so this is basically a guaranteed dragon for the land sharks. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Fiora, that is Abu, is trying to take out the tower. Looks like Zeke is here to help out. But there goes the dragon. Natalia just doing a ton of damage. So right now, the Eagle's just trying to farm up, get together and do a team fight. Meanwhile, the 
Land sharks. Oh man, Rel is gonna get caught out here. Flash trying to get out, is able to get out. Everyone needs to be careful here. That misfortune is doing a ton of damage. Here we go, old miss. Went back, they bought a ton of really good items. This Maokai is gonna be very tanky, but this Mordekaiser is going to be hitting very, very hard. Old miss might be looking for a Baron play here. Edra College kind of just stopping all these minions from attacking into their base. But they know that Ole Miss is probably going to be around doing Baron here shortly. Oh, we're going to get off of that. Gonna go ahead and rotate into the mid lane. Fiora, though, needs to be careful. Talia just does a ton of damage to her. This Maokai and Mordekai are just kind of babysitting the Baron, waiting to see if Edgewood is actually going to take a peek at him. here making their way through the river around the Baron I'm gonna see if they have any play but we might see Ole Miss just dive right in on them still that Fiora and that Talia down in the bot lane Fiora is gonna be looking for an angle here and it looks like Fiora is gonna get the solo kill onto that Talia that is actually massive for a boo. Fiora is going to get that turret. But that MF and that J4 looking to cut her off. A boo is probably going to be in a little bit of trouble here. Yep, that's tough. That J4 and that MF. But looks like Edgewood is going to try to rush this Baron play. If only they had Fiora here, this Baron would be very quickly taken down. A lot of kills from everybody, but it is a 2-4-3 on the side of Ole Miss, and they're just going to go ahead and run it over to the Dragon, but the Baron was awarded to Edgewood College. They were able to keep the Baron for themselves.
like Abu here is going after this Mordekaiser. It looks like he might have the damage, but Akali is actually here as well. Big parry. They will do no more. That Mordekaiser just heals for so much. Goodness gracious. There's a flash out of the MF. Ooh, Kaisa needing to use a stopwatch here. Abu in the back line shut down the Mordekaiser but trades his life for it. Amumu running in on this back line. Triple kill gets a ward to the MF. Quadra kill. Going over to the misfortune. All players down for Edgewood College. And the Land Sharks extend their lead. So they are going to take a turret as well as an inhibitor. So when an inhibitor is destroyed, it spawns super minions and super minions have way more health do way more damage just a heads up about that something to watch out for this mf is huge right now nine and one Both sides are going to rear up looking for another team fight. Talia is at the point where she can just absolutely spam all of her abilities. That is not a fun point to be at if you are going against it because she is very annoying and she does a lot of damage. Downtime right now. Just kind of waiting to see what everybody does. Ole Miss is looking for a team fight to try and win this one, but the Eagles are pinging that they want to go up top and face off against this Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser is going to ult onto this Kaisa. And Zeke is going to get this kill. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, massive team fight for the Eagles is going on. This J4 doing massive damage. He is going to go down, though. But he's going to get resurrected. And Talia just showing how powerful of a champion she really is. Picks up a triple kill. is going to go ahead and reset after resetting that bot lane. There is 41 seconds until this dragon comes up. All members want to fight for this dragon. So we are going to see a lot of people gravitate towards this bot side of the map. The bottom side is what I say, what I mean when I say that. Needs to be careful here. There is a flash onto her. 
There is going to be an engage onto the Rel, and Rel taken down pretty quickly. So Abu is going to go ahead and split push up in the top lane. There's going to be an ultimate coming out from Mordecai, or uh, Malkai, I mean. Onto the Akali, but not going to be found. J4 is going to go ahead and get a lot of damage. They are just chasing this Akali. But Zeke is able to get away. And the Land Sharks will look to get this Baron. So Baron goes down. And the Eagles trade it for killing Mordecai's. Eagles are back out. Looks like we could see a little bit of skirmish here. Not gonna happen. Old Miss is going to push down into the middle lane. The MF and this Talia are just deleting these waves because they just do so much damage. are not out of it yet two good team fights and they are right back to winning this game basically. two good team fights is what you got to focus on this Fiora needs to be careful because she's about to get dove on the Eagles are here to back her up a boo The Rel big ultimate ability onto this MF. MF has been taken down. Fantastic team fight out of the Eagles right here. This is exactly what you needed. That is exactly what you needed to do. Do one more of those and the Eagles will be winning this one. They need to catch out that Misfortune. She is the main damage dealer. They did that. Rel had a fantastic ultimate ability, which basically stuns everybody. Amumu then did the exact same thing with his ultimate ability. He stuns everybody around him in a circular radius. And then you go off to the races. Talia, though. Next one to take out. Mordekaiser is back alive. So the Elder Dragon, this is the most powerful dragon in the game, basically lets you kill anybody if they are below a quarter of their HP instantly. Is going to be spawning here in a minute 45. As you can see, Akali, that is Zeke, he is pinging it. He's saying, hey, this is coming up soon. We got to get ready for it. This will be the most important fight of the game. Oh, Mordekaiser looking to catch out Amumu. Amumu had to flash away. 
So Amuma does not have flash for this team fight. The Elder Dragon is spawning in a minute 10. So Ole Miss is just resetting. Getting ready for everything. Kind of shading over here by midway. Akali is going to find the Mordekaiser. Don't know if that was Mordekaiser. Oh, but actually, the Land Sharks are going to force a fight in mid lane, not over by the Elder Dragon. They are going to force the Eagles to come at them. So let's see what happens here, folks. Oh, looks like Edgewood is just going to fall back and go for the Elder. Meanwhile, Old Miss is going to push into our spawn. Oh, J4 looking to just catch everybody out. Oh my goodness, this is massive. J4... Stopped everybody from recalling, but Akali, if she can get going here. Oh, it's a big, oh, it's a big engage from Rel, but it's not going to work out. I believe Akali is going to die here. Jason doing what he can, but it's not going to be enough. Ole Miss is going to go ahead and take the win in game number one. These are best of three, so first one to two, so we do have another match. Really fun game to watch there, down to the wire. I'm going to put it in a Barrett back screen as we get ready for the next round of picks and bans, so don't go anywhere.
Okay, so I just wanted I just I just had a lot of a lot of things happen. Um first off, uh a lot of stuff. Uh Skid the Kid, thank you for the Twitch Prime. We appreciate you. You also followed the Stick It 9 also with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Brick Haas Baby with the follow. Thank you so much. LJ Shark with the follow and Sir Pepto with the follow. I really do appreciate every single one of you. That is awesome. That is so awesome. We just hit affiliate the other day, so this is that's absolutely huge. Thank you so much. We appreciate it so much. Big shout out. Massive shout out. Programmed Alex with the sub. I gotta change the image for that. I didn't really expect to get a sub, but we have a hype train going, folks. Thank you so much. Gotta cheese it. Thank you for the follow. Number one sub, giving a sub. Alex, you are the man. Appreciate it so much guys. You do not have to sub honestly like we just support your You watching us and hanging out with us, but you know, thank you so much for doing it it's Something that all of us really do appreciate here all of the money goes back into the program. So Again, thank you so much So we are gonna get into match number two here. It's a best of three tonight for those of you who don't really know what's going on with the with the game, if you have questions, please ask, okay? I'm more than happy to kind of go into more explanation about what's happening. So we are just hanging on, waiting for Old Miss to ready up for the draft. And then we will start that again. Why well, don't I kind of take a second to explain what a draft is? What, what do I mean when I say that? So a draft is something that is done before the matches to determine who you can play, okay? So at the bottom corners, you see all these, like, on the bottom, like, the three and then the two, and, like, there's, like, little, you know, little slots there. So everything at the bottom is what we ban. So there are two ban phases. The first ban phase is each team gets to ban three champions, okay? Now, how do we ban these champions? Well, basically, we're given a list of what champions the other team plays and like what their win rate is, how much they play them, how long have they been playing that champion. So it's really, really interesting. Um, and then we want to ban one who they're really, really good at two who we don't really want to play against because maybe they counter the champions that we want to play. And then um, we go based off of that. And then we're getting into a pick phase. So then we pick what champions we want, okay? So we're getting into the ban phase right now. So Edgewood College is going to be on the blue side again. Losers get to choose which side we want. We go ahead and ban the Renata. Ole Miss on the red side is going to ban Yumi. We did have a substitution. Dylan is going to be subbing in for Bin at the support spot. So Edgewood College is going to go ahead and ban Lee Sin. Old Miss They're gonna ban the Fiddlesticks Dylan from Hawaii Absolutely, Dylan is from Hawaii It is also Dylan's birthday Alright Let's get some love for Dylan in the chat Let's say happy birthday to Dylan The big 1-8 today Dylan, you got some supporters in the chat. All right, so Edgewood College, we banned that Talia. We do not want to see that again. That was an absolutely disgusting champion last game. Even if Talia is not fed, that champion can still do a ton of damage. On the side of Ole Miss, they are going to go ahead and ban the Amumu. Now it is Edgewood College's turn to pick what champion they want.
So we are going to go ahead and take that Misfortune away from Old Miss. We saw Old Miss play Misfortune last game. And we saw that Misfortune has a major impact. Maokai again being locked in. It worked the first time. So let's do it again. Holy cow! We have gifts of subs. Give the kid with the... Oh my goodness. That is five tier ones. That is insane. Thank you so much for gifting those. Holy cow. Everybody that just got gifted a sub. Go ahead and give a shout out to Skid the Kid. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate this. Meanwhile, Nalia... Nalia was locked in for Ole Miss. Another sub, Sir Pepto. Thank you so much for the tier one. For the Eagles, we lock in that Soraka and that Zach. Thank you so much for these subs, guys. You have no idea how much we appreciate this. This is insane. Another gift from Skid the Kid. Wow. Thank you so much. Another five gifted tier ones. Holy cow, guys. Thank you so much, Sir Pepto, coming in absolutely massively with the five gifted. I'm not even paying attention to what's going on right here. I'm just kind of, this is insane. We have a level three hype train going on. Thank you so much. Everybody that just got gifted subs, you know, say thank you. Show that support. That is amazing. That is amazing. Uh, while we were away, kind of looking back at this, that Sejuani was locked in for Ole Miss. That can either be flexed in the top lane or jungle, kind of depending on what Ole Miss wants to do. Love Edgewood College. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is amazing. Meanwhile, for the bands, Edgewood College is going to take out that Udir. Ole Miss is going to take out Irelia. Let's see what that other champion ban is going to be. It's going to be Trundle. So no Trundle. That final ban for Edgewood is going to be... What is it going to be? Five seconds to go on it. That's insane. Thank you guys so much for the subs. You guys really don't have to do it. But we appreciate it so much. It's going to be that Mordekaiser ban. So we don't want to see that in the top lane again. I think that's a good call. No sub for me. Did you not get gifted? Not that you did. No, you did not. I'm sorry. That's tough. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, out of all the subs that were just gifted. I mean, holy cow. Thank you so much. So, Zig's pick for Old Miss. Don't worry, homie. We got you. Are we about to see another gifted sub? Sub war. A Zed is going to be locked in for the Eagles. Our final pick to round off the Eagles composition. It's going to be our top laner, Abu, who's going to be locking in the... I don't know yet. Gangplank. I had, a, I had a feeling it was going to be the Gangplank. So on the side of Ole Miss, they're going to go ahead and lock in their top laner as well. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for the gift. Gifted sub from Skid the Kid over to LJ Shark. And then... Oh, my goodness. 
Some bits being cheered. Thank you so much. So to round everything off, Aatrox is going to be locked in for the Land Sharks. So here we go. We are going to get into this one. Drag this over. Put this one over here. Holy cow, guys. You all are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting us. I won't hold my breath. Thank what you so, so much. Huh? I'm like speechless. Like, I, I, I mean, like, it's tough for me to be speechless, but that, that's absolutely insane. Thank you so much for your guys' support. We really do appreciate it. I return to my training. Wow, 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 wow. All right, as we are getting into game number two. We see these bands and picks rolling out here. It's basically what we just saw on that tool that we just used for everything. Grounded. Alex Tang fan club. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for cheering those 100 bits. Thank you so much. Turn the music up a little bit. So Gangplank in the top lane for Abu is going to be going up against an Aatrox. Aatrox is currently probably the best champion in League of Legends right now. He is... Some would, some would say broken. Does a lot of damage. Does not have to hit all of his abilities to do insane amounts of damage. But if he does, it's it's pretty crazy. <laughs> nice name. Yeah. They're supporting you. So this is the game that the Eagles need to win to force a game number three. Again, this is a best of three, so first one of two wins. As we just saw, Ole Miss took that win in a very, very close game. Now, I will say, so Ole Miss is averaging a very high platinum, very low diamond roster. Edgewood College is about a low platinum roster. So what we just did was absolutely amazing. These guys have been practicing for only really you know month and a half together so kind of the the growth that we've already seen out of these out of these players is amazing absolutely amazing so as you can see for the eagles we got gangplank up top zach is going to be roaming the jungle for us zed in the mid lane Misfortune and Soraka are going to be in the bot lane against the Nyla Maokai. Going up against our Zed is a Ziggs. Sejuani is going to be duking it out with Zack in the jungle. And Aatrox head to head against Gangplank in the top lane. If anybody has any questions about the game, about Edgewood, about the players about the esports program anything at all go ahead put it in chat love to chat with you guys now since we have a little bit of break time before we get into it for those who don't know me for those who kind of came in late my name is danny duhai i'm the head esports coach and program director here at edgewood college i will also be teaching sports management a newly added major Holy cow, is that another, that's another 100 bits. The Alex Tang Fan Club, another 100 bits. Thank you so, so much. That is absolutely insane. You guys, you guys are making my day. You really are. Like, this is, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Tons of people hanging out and chat with us. Watching some League of Legends. If you missed it, we did stream earlier. We streamed some Overwatch. We started uh, We started at 6. Overwatch took on Shawnee State University. And we won. 3 to nothing in the best of 5 series. We, we swept the Bears of Shawnee State from Ohio. 
That was awesome. Oh, wow. Okay. Alex Tang fan club with the thousand bits. Holy cow. Guys, show some love for the fan club in the chat. That is awesome. Alex, don't make me do this. What's going on here? Again, you guys do not have to cheer these bits. You guys do not have to sub. This is, this is, uh, this is amazing. We just appreciate your follows and your support. Uh-oh. What's about to happen here? Wait, I'm Alex, though. This is the Alex Tang fan club. So Alex has his own fan club going on. I don't know if that's Alex doing it. what he said it's kind of like that spider-man meme where like spider-man's pointing at spider-man pointing at spider-man y'all know what i'm talking about please tell me you know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm talking about right please tell me i'm talking about that all right winding down final seconds of our spectator delay and then we're going to get right onto the rift and see the eagles battle the land sharks edgewood college looking to stay in this one old miss looking to put this one out of reach i'm alex too oh my gosh we have so many alexes the fan club another hundred thank you so so much what kind of setups do they have so we are an msi school so we have i can get you specs later i don't know the specific names of everything but very very nice equipment we have 12 setups we do have our own esports arena 12 total computers super super lucky to have them we actually also got tricked out with some brand new I want uh, where is this uh, time controls I want off I want that off oh my goodness that's is that 2200 bits holy cow guys holy cow rubber ducky lady just oh my goodness the sub another sub thank you so so much eternal bot what do you run what is your setup like the fan club with the 200 bits we have ourselves a bitting Minions war. Ahaha, ah, ha. get it? Bits, bitting, ahaha. Ah, ha. All right, that was, that, was, that was cheesy. My bad. I won't do that again. Give me five, demon. Ow. Bit leader is my title. <laughs> so it looks like Sejuani is going to be starting up on her top side by her red. Zach is starting down by his red. Gifted sub. LJ Shark with the gifted sub. To Captain Sci Fi. Thank you so much. Captain Sci Fi. Very nice. Well, it looks like this Maokai is going to be going in on Soraka. Soraka. Flashes away to safety. 
Not the most ideal thing, but it is what it is. So this Gangplank is giving a lot of trouble to this Aatrox. Telcore I-5, 12th gen. That's nice. That's a good setup. That's a good setup. Is it default integratix? I'm assuming. Is it 2070? 2070 Ti? Oh, Soraka here might. Yep, Soraka is gonna go down. That is a Maokai flash, and first blood is gonna go over to Old Miss. Unfortunate. 2070. It, yeah, I mean, I mean that's pretty pretty standard now for a lot of stuff. Thank you all so much for just kind of being active in this chat. It's really really cool that uh, we have this much support for our teams. Big ol' one bit! Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. So we're still kind of in the boring laning phase. There has been some stuff going on in the bot lane. Not too much. We could see something in the mid lane here, though. Gangplank getting some good damage off. Maokai has left Nyla in the bot lane. He's hovering around mid lane. We're going to see a gank in the mid lane. Nothing's going to happen, though. Ziggs is playing safe. A lot of damage here onto this Nyla, though, but she just walks away because, of course, she has an ability that just negates every single at auto attack. One bit ain't going to do it. So the dragon has spawned. Zed is going to be doing some insane damage onto the Ziggs. He could be looking for a kill, but Ziggs is just going to go ahead and blast away to safety. Comes Sejuani into the mid lane. Gonna be flashing for Zed. Zed is gonna go ahead and pop his ultimate. Trying to get away. And he does. A hundred bits from the fan club. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. That's that's insane. Thank you so much. Another hundred from the fan club. So we could potentially be seeing a, a duel here in the top lane. Here comes Aatrox. I'm assuming he's going to pop his ult here soon. Oh, Zach ends up finding a Sejuani here in mid lane. That's funny. Need to be careful here. Soraka is still level three, while well, MF is level five. Not sure what's happening there. Do it to one fan club. I dare you. <laughs> Eternal bot with the follow. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Gangplank is doing some good damage here onto this Aatrox. It looks like Gangplank is actually going to be 
Dove. Not ideal. Sejuani, Ziggs, and Aatrox coming in. We are going to see a fight. Lots of fighting absolutely everywhere on the map. We'll go back up the top lane. Oh, goodness. Oh, Zed is here. Good damage. Ultimate onto the Ziggs. Ziggs, it looks like you're next, buddy. Zeke with the massive double kill. Down in the bot lane, there were some kills as well. Nyla and Maokai are going to pick up some kills on the Misfortune and Soraka. Lots of bits are being just cheered right now. Thank you so, so much. And it looks like the Eagles are also going to be picking up the Rift Herald. So even though they are down in kills, they are up in objectives now. Really well done. Zeke actually carries. Zeke is doing a fantastic job right now. He's just kind of showing just how versatile he can be on a ton of these assassin champs at Akali and that Zed. So a boo now, just kind of hanging out, looking for some wards to clear. Zack is clearing his topside jungle. 500 bits from Skid the Kid. Thank you so much. Oh, it looks like Nyla is going to go ahead and go on to this misfortune. Here comes the Maokai Flash and the ultimate. That's unfortunate, but it looks like in the top lane, I think this Zack, yep. Nice ability there. Not enough from this Ziggs, and this Ziggs is going to be trying to get up to top lane and clean up these kills. Another one cheered. Oh, but meanwhile, Zed, looking for a kill on this Maokai, is pretty low. Needs to flash away. Sejuani just threw her ult out. I don't know why. Thank you so, so much. All these bits being cheered. Thank you all so, so much. All these players on the side of Ole Miss are very, very low. The Eagles could have an opportunity to do some something saucy. Aatrox, though, is coming in. Eagles need to be very, very careful. And there is the ultimate ability from the Aatrox. The Eagles here needing to fight together. Oh, but Zack is here. I didn't even realize that. Aatrox is going to get out. He is back in. Zack slays the dragon, but there is a fight. Zeke gets a kill. Zeke looking for another one. This Maokai... Goes down, but Nyla potentially looking to do something. Nyla's gonna back off. Edgewood College, fantastic fight. Right there in the dragon pit, picks up the kills and picks up the dragon. Sir Pepto, thank you so much for the 100 bit cheer. So this Rift Herald is spawned here in the mid lane. Zack is probably going to go ahead and just reset. Zed needs to be careful. I believe Zed is going to get caught out. Maokai ult, Sejuani doing a lot of just damage. And there goes a shutdown. Unlucky. Gangplank and Aatrox just kind of going back and forth here in the top lane. Both of them are just kind of being annoying to each other. Zach is getting fairly big right now. He's 1-0 but has 4 assists. That's what you like to see. Here comes Aatrox ult. Gangplank is going to go ahead and ult himself. It's a lot of healing done. 
from that Aatrox who is going to take down Abu. Unlucky there. I did not think that Aatrox was going to have his ultimate back up again. This Nyla, though, has a major CS lead in the bot lane. She's also 4 0, oh, has a bounty. So the Eagles could look to capitalize on this. Meanwhile, oh, we do have Zed who has roamed top. Does see this Aatrox. Ultimate ability coming out. Zed, a lot of damage. And there is the kill onto that Aatrox from Zeke. And Zed, or Ziggs, I mean, it's just going to back away. Sejuani is going to come up here and take over this top lane. Wait for Aatrox to respawn. Gangplank is going to go ahead and start his journey down to bot lane. Ultimate is going to miss there for Zack. Unlucky. Silence coming out. Not quick enough. There is a Misfortune ult. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Zed and Sejuani are duking it out. Oh, there's a Soraka ult, actually. But here comes the Aatrox. Aatrox... Oh, trying to get in here. Zeke trying to get out of harm's way. Dodges an Aatrox ability, but not the other one. Two ultimates coming out to kill Zed there in the top lane. And there is a turret. Oh, Nyla is going to go ahead and ult in. Maokai as well. Soraka is going to go down. Nyla might pick herself up another kill onto this MF. It's a good a bit of damage there. Zack here is coming in on the back end. Don't know. They, they do see him. Don't know what their plan is going to be. Zack is going to go ahead and go in onto this, or uh, this Zack. Onto the Maokai. Gangplank ult is going to be popped. Trying to help out. Here comes the Zed, though. Ultimate ability popped onto this Maokai and another kill. But meanwhile, top lane, Gangplank is going to be taken out. That has been the story of this series. Kills just happening one after another on all edges of the map. Ziggs is going to go ahead and get out, but there is going to be a team fight here. Maokai's ultimate ability has been popped. I believe the Eagles are safe, though. They will play for stealing it. Ooh. Misfortune ultimate looking to steal it. Not going to happen. But meanwhile, Soraka is going to be caught out. That was just a random Sejuani ult that just happened to hit him. That is very unlucky. Very, very unlucky. Zack needs to be careful here. Malkai might be looking to go in. Here comes a counter engage. Zed is here. Oh my goodness, this is a ton of damage. Zed. Zach is going to go down. Zed is also going to go down. Oh, wait, no. Zach is still alive. Now he's dead. Not the best team fight there out of the Eagles. Ole Miss, though, doing a really, really good job of just kind of capitalizing on a lot of these opportunities right after objectives. Just kind of chase the Eagles down. They are also going to take Rift Herald. Has been claimed. In the 
stage of the game where everyone is going to be buying their second and third items. And this game is going to get crazy very quickly. Gangplank here is going to take this bottom turret. That is an objective, so he does... Or everybody gets a little bit of gold. Oh, Gangplank is going to see a lot of people here coming down for him. Needs to be careful. Is just going to go ahead and back. Soraka, that's a lot of damage onto her. This Ziggs is just a very annoying champion. Can just do a ton of damage. Very quickly. Oh, his ultimate from Sejuani. Here comes a team fight from the Land Sharks. Zach just got absolutely rocked there. Nyla showing that she's a champion as well. Eagles doing what they can. This one is pretty tough. Gangplank is here. But his ultimate was already used, so not too much to do. Zed trying to get in a lot of damage. Gangplank is going to get... Oh, he's going to get dove. There goes a tower, potentially another inhib. Nyla's gonna go ahead and go on Ziggs. Or I mean Zed. Oh, that's an MF alt. Zed looking to keep going. Does get the shutdown. Ziggs alt comes out. Not gonna, it's just not gonna do anything though. And Zed is gonna continue to give chase. Zed is an annoying character. You love to see it. Stops Nyla's back. I do want to see... That. Did not realize I did not have Chad on. I want to see that. And here we go. It looks like... Oh, that is a massive Sejuani alt. Misfortune really just can't do anything about it. There's just so much CC on the side of Ole Miss that it's tough for the Eagles to do much against it once they get caught off. Where'd the scoreboard go? There it is. So Rift Herald's gonna be spawned in the bot lane. Meanwhile, Ole Miss is gonna go after this dragon. Dragon goes down. Eagle's doing what they can to just stop the advancement of that Rift Herald. Zack is gonna look to go in onto this Aatrox. Does get a good stun. Ultimate bounces him up. Aatrox, look at that healing! Oh my word, he just did so much healing. That is what Aatrox does though. If he gets critical hits, he heals. Oh my goodness gracious. Zed and Gangplank though. There's a shutdown onto Ziggs, another kill. Sejuani here takes down Zed. Gangplank avoiding all of these hits. Oh, but Zack is here. Oh, Soraka not able to do much. Well, Nyla is going to take out Zack. 
Soraka is going to be next. A good attempt there to stop the Baron and steal the Baron from that Zed and Gangplank, but it was flipped on its head. That was a three, or it was a 2v4, I think. And we took two down, but couldn't find those other two. Still a lot of League of Legends to be played. It is not over till it's over. Eagles just have to play really, really well here. Make sure we're grouped up. Is the Baron and the land sharks are gonna be looking in and they get the ultimate on the Zed. Oh, Soraka here has overstayed her welcome, flashes away. Need to be careful about that one. Here comes Zack and Zed. A lot of damage here onto this Ziggs. Sejuani is here though. They're focusing Sejuani. Sejuani's gonna get shut down. Next in line might be the Nyla, but so much damage is coming out. MF ultimate. Oh, that's a Ziggs ultimate. Oh, Soraka might be next. She goes down. Maokai ultimate might hit that MF. Not gonna happen. I think that Ole Miss is gonna try to end the game right here. I think that's exactly what they are going to do. There is an ace. One tower down. Two towers down. And Ole Miss is going to take this one 2-0 tonight. GG's all around. GG's all around. That was a tough one. But that is only the first game of our regular season. We have a ton of season left. All right. Tons of opportunities left. That is the only the first game. GG's to Ole Miss. They come out on top tonight. Edgewood College moves to being 0-1. Ole Miss 1-2. Thank you all. I cannot express how, how grateful I am for everyone for the subs, for the bits, just for, for chatting, for watching. I appreciate everyone so, so much for being here. We love having your support. We will be live again on Thursday, same time, 7.30 Central. Okay, make sure that you're here, hanging out with us. We're playing some more League of Legends. If you want to hang out before, we do have an Overwatch match that starts at 6. They would love to have your support. Thank you all so, so much. My name is Dan Duhai. I'm the head of esports coach and program director here at Edgewood College. That is going to do it for us tonight. Please, everyone, stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday night. And we will catch you hopefully back here on Thursday. Deuces.